Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a car battery. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test the old car battery, and this is a solar battery tester. So I've got the negative lead on the negative terminal and the positive lead on the positive terminal. And I've punched in the amount of cold cranking amps that this existing battery is rated for. And I hit the test button and you can see it came out as bad right in the middle of your screen there it says bad so i'm going to do one more press right here i'm going to press this button and and now we have soh that means state of health and it says bad as well so i've done two tests here that say that this battery is bad and it's ready to change out the next thing i'm going to do is put a memory saver on this car and this is a OBD2 terminal and we're going to look for the OBD2 port which is right here. This is the driver's side and it's right under here. You have to get down on your hands and knees and look up and you'll find it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put the memory saver on the car. I now have the OBD2 terminal plugged into the OBD2 port which is right here that I plugged in and I'm going to flip on the memory saver. Now that we have the memory saver on, the first thing we're going to do is uh, put on eye protection and gloves. And so the first thing we're going to do is take off the negative terminal. Now with the negative terminal, it's first off, last on. So you always take the negative terminal off first and you put it on last. So here's your negative terminal and I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap it in a shop towel and I'm going to take off the old felt washer. These are treated and they do a lot of good uh, for your battery but this was worn out. Okay so now we can safely take off the positive terminal and on my car it is once again a 10 millimeter. And I'm going to uh, take off the felt washer and throw it away. And I'm going to put the positive terminal also in a shop rag. I'll just wrap that right around it. Okay, so we have the positive and the negative off. Now we're going to take off the battery holder. Okay, here's the battery holder and it's off now. I have taken the old battery out now and here's the tray that the battery sits in and I've cleaned it up with some battery cleaner and uh, you see it does come right out. It has two bumps right here that fit right in so you can't put it back in the wrong way. So I'll go ahead and put that back in. And okay so that we have a nice clean tray now. So now we want to clean up the battery terminals. Uh, they're pretty dirty and so I have the battery cleaner here. That's what I'm going to use on the terminals as well. So I'm going to go ahead and spray these. This is the kind of foaming spray that turns yellow if there's acid on something. And now we're going to let this uh, foaming cleaner sit on there for a couple minutes. Okay, the battery terminal cleaner has sat on here for a couple minutes and this is very, very important that you have eye protection and gloves on when you do this. This is nasty stuff. So we want to be, just wipe this off first because you want to get all the liquid off there. You don't want it flying around, maybe getting in your eyes or something. So do a good job cleaning up. I have a tool here. You just open it up like that and you have a... Uh, a wire brush that you can clean out the inside of the terminal. I'll do a real good job of it. Okay, it's nice and shiny. And then clean up the inside of the terminal here. Use a wire brush on the outside of the terminals and repeat the process as necessary. Okay, we've got the terminals cleaned up really good. We used both the, the foam cleaner 
and a big brush and then a little brush. So uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to put the uh, shop towels back over the terminals for safety when we put in the new battery. And you need a dry shop towel. Like I had one I started to put on and it was wet. I, I took that off. You don't want a wet shop towel. That's not really going to help. So uh, we're ready to go to put in the new battery. So here's the new battery. And let me tell you a quick story about this battery that I think will be beneficial to you. I first went to O'Reilly and I shopped for a battery there. My Sienna uses a Type 24F. So I jotted down all the prices at O'Reilly. Then I went to AutoZone. And I noticed that they had the same exact prices with the same numbers as O'Reilly. So I asked at AutoZone, do you do a price guarantee beating? You know, not just matching beating. And they said, yes, we do. And they told me that they would offer me the Duralast Gold for 10% off. Because I showed them the price of the O'Reilly battery, which was about the same so this battery believe it or not is $199 and then you get an $18 core charge when you bring back your old battery so there's a tip for you on buying a new battery another tip for buying batteries is buy the freshest one you can there was six of these in the AutoZone store and I looked through all six of them and found the freshest one and it's interesting that some of these batteries are three and four months old, and they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be more than one month old. So look for the manufacturer date. And another tip is to get the most cold cranking amps and the most cranking apps that you can. This is a really good one. 750 cold cranking and 935 cranking amps. So we're going to be putting on the positive terminal first. And we're going to use this tool right here to do a good job of cleaning it up. Okay, so that's very nicely cleaned. And get the filings off. I'm going to put a brand new treated felt washer on there. And I'm going to use some dielectric grease. Okay, we're gonna put that all around the surface where it's going to be hitting. And I'm going to put some dielectric grease inside of the female terminal okay now we've got our our washer and our dielectric grease and then you push this all the way down these are tapered terminals so you want to push it all the way down and then i'm going to take my 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down very nicely you want a good snug but don't overdo it don't strip anything now we're going to go over to the negative terminal and we're going to clean it very well. Get rid of the little filings. We're going to put on a brand new treated uh, felt washer. Okay, that goes right on there. And now we're going to use some dielectric grease on the terminal all the way around. All right, dielectric grease, and then here's the cable terminal, and I'm going to use some dielectric grease on it. Okay, we're going to put that on there like that. Once again, it's tapered, so push it all the way on. Okay, here's my 10 millimeter socket. Okay, that's nice and tight, but not so tight that I'm stripping anything. Okay, we got our dielectric grease in there. Okay, this is called NCP2, and this is battery corrosion preventative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this on here all over the place. All right, now we're going to tighten up the battery holder. You got to get that little hook in the hole down there 
or whatever your system is, you gotta make sure it's, it's secured well. And we're gonna tighten this right up. You wanna have a nice, tightly secured battery. Okay, that's good. So that's, that's nice and secured. Uh, we have the terminals protected uh, very well. So we clean the male and female terminals really well. We put the treated felt washers underneath. We put the dielectric grease where the male and female terminals meet. And over the top of that, we put the battery terminal protectant. So uh, there's your positive and there's your negative. All right, let's clean this cover off here. You don't want any of this crud on here. Clean that off real nicely. Okay, so here's your positive cap. There you go. So now I'm going to disconnect the memory saver. I've turned on the car and all the radio presets are the same and the air conditioning presets are the same. The uh, memory saver worked great and the battery is uh, well protected from corrosion in the future. I'll put links in my video description for the solar battery and alternator tester. I'll put a link for the Easy Red memory saver, the NOCO NCP2 battery corrosion preventative spray. I'll put a link for a battery terminal cleaning brush and for CRC battery cleaner. Also, I'll put links for 12 pieces of anti-corrosion felt washers and I'll put a link for CRC dielectric grease. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.